I promised you another fun summer cupcake recipe. This is Amanda Cupcake. You know her. She's been on the show before. Great to see you. It's really good to be here again. Uh, she makes the most incredible cupcakes. So if you need cupcakes for a party, a wedding, uh, you name it, give her a call, find her, and she will, um, you know, she'll come up with something really, really cool. So tell us about the cupcake we're making this morning. We are making a s'mores cupcake. Mm. It's a s'more in a cupcake. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I mean, that's a new thing. It's just really kind of taking cupcakes to a whole new level. Um, so, um, you know, the kids like s'mores. Who doesn't? Uh, make s'more cupcakes this summer. All right, let's get started because there's a few different steps going on for this recipe. Yes, this recipe I make actually from scratch. Okay. And the batter that I'm going to make here, there's two batters involved. There's a fudge batter and a graham cracker batter. Ooh, yum. Okay. So I'm going to make the graham cracker batter right now. Okay. So and the fudge batter we'll put on the website. Is that how that works? Yes. Okay. And that recipe's on the website. Okay. Sounds good. And then I'm going to get to work crushing some graham crackers. Yes. That's actually the first step is okay. I crush graham crackers. About how many? All of those? About the three quarters cup worth. Or you can, you can actually put as much as you want in really. Okay. Just go crazy with the graham crackers. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'll put in the, um, the flour. I pre-measured it. Okay. But it's three quarter cups of flour, three quarter cups of sugar, and um, also like a quarter cup of butter. Now, Amanda, do you want these real fine or do you want them a little chunky still? Pretty fine. Okay. Like as fine as you can get it. You can also put it in the blender. You can do either one. Okay. And then I put buttermilk in. And then I mix it together. I mentioned getting the kids in the kitchen. This is a, I mean, <laughs> what, what kid wouldn't want to pound graham crackers? That's a really fun thing to do. And don't throw out the leftover, you know, whenever we do go to make s'mores, there's always a few of those graham crackers that are broken, you know? Right. Save them. Make, you know, use them in recipes so like this. Oh, yeah. You can use them in anything. All right, so and then piece. there's one egg in this. This makes about 12 cupcakes. Okay. So if you want to make more, you can double the recipe. Okay. So how are you doing over here? You're doing good. I put all my ingredients together and I'm mixing them. It's buttermilk, flour, sugar, vanilla, and then half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. And again, there's two batters. So we're basically having a fudge batter and a graham cracker batter. And what's all in the fudge batter, Amanda? The fudge batter is almost the same as the graham cracker batter, except that it doesn't have graham cracker. It has three quarter cups of cocoa in it. Okay. And it's really thick. It looks like a real thick, dense batter. Right. Yep. Now, when do our graham crackers go in here? So now that I've got this blended, then you add the graham crackers. Okay. You just pour them in there. And I actually fold them in. Is that about good? I think yeah, that's do pretty it. good. <laughs> so it's going to have a little crunch. To yeah, it. that's nice though. Crunchy is good. I agree. See, and it's so it just and it tastes. My friend just ate this yesterday. I asked him to taste test it, and he said it tasted just like a s'more. Mm, that's what we want. Um, <laughs> okay, so basically now we have our two, and you've got them into a piping bag here. I do. Our, our fudge so batter. You how I make it? Yes. Okay, and we've got our cupcake liners yep. into our. And I make this buttery graham cracker goodness. I combine it with um, butter and brown sugar and graham crackers, and I crumble it up, and I put it on the bottom of the cupcake okay. wrapper. Okay, I can do that. All right, so this is just butter, yep. brown sugar, and more of those crumbs from right. graham crackers. Yep. Okay. And so then I just layer, I layer the batters that we just made on top of each other inside the wrapper. And you're using a piping bag, but I'm assuming you could just use a spoon. Right. You know? um, yep, you could use a spoon or a scoop. And then I take a little marshmallow. And you don't want to, I don't like using big marshmallows because they make the cupcake explode <laughs> when okay. they're in the oven. Okay, so. we don't want that. <laughs> but you, I mean, you could if you like your cupcakes to explode. But. Uh. So a couple of the baby marshmallows, basically. Yep, a couple okay. of the baby marshmallows. And you can even put more of the graham cracker if you want. Um, and then you just fill it about two-thirds full. Okay. All right. And then you bake it in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And so it ends up being this combination oh, of that's the fun part. Okay. and graham cracker. Okay, so here's what they look like when they come out. Can you see that? Really, really fun. Now comes the real fun part. We're right. going to decorate these guys. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. Right, okay. We're missing the marshmallow. We need more marshmallow. 
Yeah, well, I, actually, after they come out of the oven, I add another marshmallow inside while Ooh. it's warm, so it's extra gooey on the Ooh. inside. And I even take a Hershey's bar, and I stick it on the inside while it's still warm, oh too. Oh, my gosh. Yum. So it's just Yum. double the Yum. Double Pleasure. The fun. Okay, yeah. so what's in the frosting here? So this has marshmallow fluff in it okay. to go with the whole s'mores love. Yum. So, Yum. so it's a homemade icing that, again, we'll put right. on the, the website, right, the recipe. Right, it's on the website. So it's got marshmallow fluff and butter, I'm sure, and things like oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. All a right. whole pound of butter. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's yeah. better with butter, right? Yeah. So then I just, um, you can either coat the bottom of your or the top of your cupcake with this chocolate ganache that I made. Okay. Or you can just leave it like this, whatever you prefer. Okay. So what's so basically you melted this is just melted chocolate chips or Right. Chocolate chips and heavy whipping cream basically and I provided that recipe on your site. Too. Okay, so that's the first layer. Then goes this marshmallow whipped cream frosting yep. or the marshmallow cream frosting. And now how are we going to decorate it? Because this is the fun part. Okay, this is the fun part because it's like a campfire on a cupcake. Sure. <laughs> So then you take, this is also ganache, the more the ganache, and I just cut a tiny hole in the bottom of the piping bag, and I swirl it around. Cute. So it's like this fun, and you can just swirl till your heart's content. Oh, I love the, the glitter, the disco and desk. Then you sprinkle on some glitter, because that's the fire in this, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and add a Hershey's bar. And this is just, you know, you break the Hershey bar, right. just like you would with the s'mores. And you can dip a big, this got a little bit, this, normally I have the ganache be really warm. How fun. Do so, you trust me to do this? Yeah. And then you dip the uh, marshmallow in the ganache and you sprinkle on some, sprinkle on some sparkles. I want, mine need sparkles too. Oh. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. I don't want to close that yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to close off the sparkles. So again, into our mar ganache, we dip our marshmallow. Yep. More sparkles. Now, I need my chocolate bar on mine. Yes. You can put as many chocolate bars on it as you want, really. Why is it every time I go to make s'mores, the chocolate bars are gone? They're always the first thing missing. Now, the final touch on this, which just doesn't get any cuter, is we basically have sparklers. Yes, little cupcake sparklers. You can buy them online. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. How cute. Can we light one? Yes, of course. And now, be careful if you're doing this with the kids, but um, you don't want a real wow factor for a summer birthday or something like that. Hey, oh, Amanda. It's time to celebrate. Thank you so much. You can get Amanda's cupcakes um, at today. You're going to be selling them. At Cronies in Wapaka on Main Street. And if you need her to do a party or a wedding, uh, you can get a hold of her on Facebook. Amanda Cupcake, right? Yep. Amanda Cupcake on Facebook. And on my, I have a blog if you Google it. All right. Woo! <laughs> we'll be back. Stay with us. How More fun. celebrations. <laughs>